What's up comic book fans? It's Asiatic back once again with another comic book haul. This is something special because in this video, I'm doing two weeks worth of books. Last week, I didn't manage to do a video because all the deliveries and the comic shops in London are late. So hence, I didn't get my books in time. That's why I couldn't make a video. But now all my books are here, which is two weeks worth of books. Hopefully, it's not going to be a long video. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. But before um, we get started, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, to the people who like, share, comment, watch my videos, and all that good stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's start with some indie books. This is from Scout Comics called Rice, written and illustrated by this guy called Don Aguilo. It's a low print run. It's, the concept is good. It's about this um, recently orphaned heir to the throne. So she's got loads of trials and tribulations, and especially she's only young. And there's an evil, uh, Asian evil spirit that makes sure that she's not going to take the throne. So it's quite interesting. But for me, the artwork and the script, uh, the way it's been wrote, is a bit all over the uh, place. It's a bit clunky. And the artwork is too busy for me. Even though the artwork is nice, I just felt it's too busy. But that's the rise. Um, it's going still pretty good in um, eBay. Um, because I think it's a low print run. I think it's double the price, normal cover price. So it's still still good. So next up, um, this is a book that I really enjoy that much. This is one of the best book um, by Mad Cave so far. This is Mark London's Night of the Golden Sun, number five. I think that's the last um, issue in this series, in this cover, uh, story arc. And this one, I love this book and it's, it's, it's really, really good. Okay, next up, Aftershock. Um, you got dark red. Um, this is this got so much hype and loads of things uh, before even before it even uh, was released. Um, it's about like vampire in Middle America. You know, it's it's quite a good story, interesting as well, and it's out of the gate. This is crazy crazy um, people are already in eBay. It's already double, triple the uh, the price. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting book and I like it. The artwork is really good. Is uh, the story is is quite all right, and uh, I like uh, vampire stories and stuff. So it's really good. Um, Dark red number one, um, bitter root number five from Image. This is amazing, amazing, amazing um, book. Um, I highly suggest uh, to you guys to grab this book because, um, especially the number one, because it's been auctioned, um, I mean, it's been acquired by Legendary to become a, a film. So I think they still, not a lot of people still know that and um, you can still see it in eBay for cover uh, price. In here in UK, not that much is already going up in value. But if you can get it for cheap, why not get it? Like I have all the books. Um, I've been raving on about this book um, since the beginning because it's really a sick book. It's about this family. Uh, they're uh, you know monster hunters, vampire hunters, and uh, yeah, it's a good concept um, and it's pretty good book. Talking about pretty good book, it's um, Grumble number five. I can't believe that's number five already. So if you like. Um, like kind of like the goon and um, you know that kind of story. Grumble is you know I've been enjoying it so far. Um, every issue I got it and it's funny. Um, there's a bit of magic action. There's a lot of everything in here and it's pretty adult. Lots of swearing on it and stuff. It's really interesting book. So Grumble number five. Grab it if you can. It's amazing. Um, Another book by Mark London, which is um, Honor and Curse. It's about like a Japanese um, samurai folklore. Um, it's quite interesting. I really enjoyed um, number one. And it's just getting in the thick of things on number two. I think it's only a five-part book. So if you like um, samurai stories and stuff like that, 
grab that one and I'm certainly enjoying that one and I put it on my pull list. Another one that's in my pull list and I can't wait to read every time I get it is Middle West by Scotty Young. This one, me and my girlfriend reads this one and then we really enjoy it. The artwork is amazing by George Corona or Jorge, I don't know how you guys pronounce it but I think it's George. But it's really amazing. I like the concept, the artwork, you know, and um, I can't wait to see where this goes. Next up, another book that I picked up is called Pretty Deadly. It's um, Kelly Sue DeConnick's work. Uh, so basically, I just watched Captain Marvel and I really enjoyed that one. And the storyline on that is based on Kelly Sue DeConnick's work. So I just did the research and see what other books that she did because I also enjoy Aquaman which is she's doing a run at the moment and I saw this one and I thought it's pretty interesting to pick it up I haven't read it yet so I can't judge about the story yet but yeah I just picked that up and see um, if I like it or not when I read it <laughs> uh, number two of stronghold that's getting good the stories um, I'm really loving the story. I picked up uh, part, uh, number one and I thought I'll continue with it. So uh, Stronghold by Aftershock. Um, conspiracy. Every single issue, they tackle different subject about conspiracy. So this one is all about um, social media. I haven't read it yet, but um, yeah, I continue to pick that up. Um, Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Terror. <laughs> That's a handful. Um, so basically, this is my first book that I picked up with them. I know I'm always late when it comes to this book because the comic shop, my local comic shop, only do like two or three of them. And then I've noticed that they're always doing like a film homage. And I can't remember what film is this, guys, but um, I'll just show you the spread. So basically, it's like the bum spread. Um Oh, I can't remember that uh, film. If you guys remember the film, uh, the homage about this cover, let me know. I can't remember, but I'm sure it's pretty famous and uh, it re I recognize it. And then I picked it up. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, we got a new um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, you know, the, there's a new one that's gonna come out as well, The Chilling Adventures, which is the one on Netflix. This one, however, is not the horror take, but still good. And it's written by Kelly Thompson, so I thought, you know, I'll grab that one. And the artwork is by Adam Hughes. The variant, virgin variant on that one is going for crazy money at the moment. Queen Credible, this is a book that every time I get it, I straight away I read it. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I don't see a lot of people talking about this book, but I think it's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, that's why I'm continuing on in that one. The artwork, the story is pretty amazing. If you guys can grab that on a trade, check it out. It's pretty interesting. Um, Star Bastard from Scott Comics. This one just came um, this week. Steve Aoki, if you guys don't know this guy, he's a legend. He's a legend when it comes to music. I listen to his music and stuff like that. He's a DJ. You know, he does beats. He collaborates with a lot of artists. And now he's in comics. That's his face there. And I think this is a sick book. A lot of people um, have been raving on about this one. So Neon Future, I actually have another copy coming in and i thought the artwork on this one is amazing crimson lotus that's the last of the book dial h for hero there's the first appearance here of monster truck heroes in crisis number seven my days this one has been dragging on for so long and i hope that is gonna be finished already but it's crazy i stick through it like i'm a soldier i stick to it and hopefully it will bear fruit in the end because it's just it feels like tom king has been just dragging this story i like the first two books and then i thought murder mystery is really amazing and then suddenly i just lost interest um, detective comics 1000 i just grabbed this um cover because you know there's so many variants on this one it's just ridiculous i like 
variant covers and I collect a lot of variant covers. But on this one, I just lost patience. Doing variants upon variants upon variants, it's just, it's hard to keep track. And then, you know, you know what? I said, there's gonna be a lot of them. They printed so many of these. And then I said, okay, let me just grab one and see if I like the other covers, then I can grab it because it's not a low print run, guys. You know, you see how, how you like it and if you think you like it, then grab another variant copy of it. But for me, I just grabbed the normal cover and see. Um, high level number two, issue number one is good. And so as number two, I'm really, really um, liking this book so far. So I think I'm going to go um, keep going with that one. And this one as well i mean every time this book lands i read it straight away i'm really happy with this book it's one of the uh, books that i always look forward to every time it comes out american carnage i'm already on number five hey, it's an amazing story um talking about amazing story this is naomi number three basically um brian michael bendis um had an interview and then they saying like they they're planning big uh, big things with Naomi and it's gonna change the DC universe. When I first read it, I actually thought, yeah, this is this could be something. And I grabbed multiple copies, and then now it's selling uh, the you know the issue number one, especially. I think it's going to ten to twenty dollars or pounds already. So if you can get it cheap, yeah, grab it. Um, Justice League number 20, this is a triptych um, cover. It has a left and right variant and it makes the complete um, image. Um, but for me, um, I just grabbed the cover A on that one. I think it originally it was going for like issue 21, 22, and 20, uh, 21, 20, 21 and 22 <laughs> and then so the variants are connecting variants um, but now they did it as a one issue so you have to grab three of them to have that thing and i thought that's not fair well if you like it you know it's your money grab it but for me i just got the main cover so talking about kelly sudaconic this one it's been amazing so far that's why i said um, i've been looking at all her previous work and um, she's doing great in this um, run now let's go to Marvel um, Venom number seven I just picked this up um, this is the secret tongue variant um, this is a cameo appearance of um, Dylan Brock um, number nine that's the full appearance of Dylan Brock I also have multiple copies on that one and then I saw it lying around in uh, my local comic shop. Um, so I grabbed it. Um, Venom number 12 has an amazing cover. Donny Cates has been pumping out some good stuff. I think this is the last one and then they're gonna go on a break for the War of the Realms. So the Venom title, he's going to leave that one for two or three issues. War of the Realms will be next week. It's going to be a big event, guys. It's going to be loads of different tie-ins. So that will be a crazy, crazy event. Savage Sword of Conan number three. Conan is everywhere. This is a variant cover by Kerry Andrews, and I thought that's amazing. That's a pretty hard book to get. I think it's one in 25 or something like that. And uh, it's it's been crazy and I managed to get one. Uh, Avengers number six. So like I said, Conan is everywhere. Um, I grabbed two copies on that one. I thought that's an amazing cover with Scarlet Witch. I also have the connecting cover, which is connecting cover with the seven, I think, which is like i mean i don't mind the connecting covers if you're doing them like issue by issue like that but not like you know you have to get free of the same issue just to get the you know the connecting covers i i i like it when they do it like this so let me take some of these books out and then um yeah, so number seven, that's another book, number seven. Um, Avengers number 17, that's the normal Avengers run. That's the, um, still dealing with um, the vampires and Blade. I thought Blade is a badass and um, that's a good cover as well. 
is getting i think it's the last one on the story arc jason aaron is doing a good job on that one um uncanny x-man number 14 also grab 181 of um incredible hulk facsimile this is the first appearance of wolverine the original cover on this one is the same actually just the barcode is not there but um yeah if I think now it's crazy. It, they in eBay they selling them for more than cover price now, but yeah, that's the first appearance of Wolverine. But this uh, obviously is a reprint. Mm. Spider Man Life Story number one in the sixties. So Chip Zdarsky is writing this one. So basically, the concept is um, you know it's about Spider Man as if he grows old with the time so this is the story when he first came out in the 60s and then he's doing like 70s 80s 90s until now so it was pretty interesting it's pretty good read and um yeah it's exciting to see imagine like all the characters will age you know like aunt may and all that you know so it's gonna be something you know sad and crazy because obviously someone's gonna die with age and stuff um daredevil number three that's another um Sidar sidarsky's book um i read one and then i haven't read two or three yet so i don't know what's happening now but um it's getting interesting i think captain marvel number three uh, that's continues to be amazing i'm not a, like a captain marvel fan but since i watched the the movie and then um you know i read the comics and then now i'm really a big fan of her um the invincible iron man um you guys know the end game movie is coming so i've been grabbing a few um cheap ones that i can find i don't know if this is the first appearance of um peppa Potts as rescue so i don't know if she's gonna be in the film as rescue but um i just like saw this one and then i thought like i'm just speculating on it but maybe i'm wrong but i grabbed it for a pretty good price um so i said okay let's see and it's a pretty amazing cover as well uh, Doctor Strange uh, become Herald of Galactus and um, there's a first appearance here of Solos um, you know it's quite interesting I don't really grab a lot of issues on this but from number 7 I think all the way to 12 I got all the issues so I'm pretty liking it it's not that good story as the Avengers but you know it's quite good still um, Marvel Rising, that's a, a new theme or um, reconnecting. So you got Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, Squirrel Girl, America, and um, Gwen. Um, that's quite good. I think they're going to do a series on it on um, the Cartoon Network or like the Disney Channel. I'm not sure, but that's quite good as well. Um, the Age of X-Men, I think only a few more books to go. Age of X-Men, Amazing Nightcrawler number two. Uh, I got the number two of the extremists and number two of um, the next gen. So those ones, they start rolling them out. I still yet to read them, <laughs> but I'm sure one of these days I'm going to sit down and read all of those books. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy number three. Um, that's uh, first full appearance of the... Um, dark guardians and the last book i got is immortal hulk number 15 so there you go guys um i know that's this it's been a long one and i really appreciate you guys sticking and um hopefully next week i can do the videos quicker um and no delay this time and i really appreciate you guys so thank you thank you guys for watching catch you next week peace